and Meg Giri is going to look for Christine. This is Christine's father, Gustav Daye. And so she has come to light a candle for him at this little shrine that she has uh, for her father. This room is very important, especially this window and this whole area later on in the story. So remember what this looks like. So Christine hears this voice all the time, um, and it's the phantom speaking to her through, through the walls, behind the walls of the opera house, and he's been doing this for probably about 10 years. When your mother brought me here to live, whenever I'd come down here alone to light a candle for my father, a voice from above, and in my dreams, he was always there. of your father's coaching you. Who else, Meg? So Christine truly believes that this angel has come to visit her. Her father promised her that this angel of music would take care of her. And so every time she hears the phantom's voice talking to her, she thinks it's the angel of her father that's speaking to her. So this is Joseph Bouquet. He's one of the stage hands. We think he's probably the stage manager because everyone always goes to him for any problems. Um, and he has suspected that the Phantom is real for quite a while. He's seen all the disasters that have happened. So the more and more he hears stories of what's going on, he becomes more suspicious of the Phantom all the time. No. 
This is the diva's room. If you remember that cutaway of the opera house, this is that huge room behind the stage. And this is only for the diva. She doesn't share it with anyone else. And um, there are tons of flowers and gifts that are always left there for the diva, diva after a performance. Uh, no. You did very well, my dear. He is pleased with you. So Madame Giry is the only person who knows who the Phantom actually is, and she has contact with him all the time. And so he has brought a gift to Madame Giry to give to Christine from him. And the gift is a single red rose, which is a very high praise, and it's tied with a black ribbon. And the red rose and the black ribbon are very important to the story that we'll see later on. So this is where we're going to end for this session, um, and we'll pick up in the next sec section from here. Uh, but hopefully you'll get a chance to have watched through all these. There is a short questionnaire in Schoology that you need to answer based on what you just saw and then we'll move on to the next section. It'll take us about six or seven sessions to get through the entire uh, movie. So hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.